Welcome to Paul Timberman's Workshop. I'm Paul Timberman. You know, every year on Grandpa Timberman's birthday, me and the wife and kids like to honor his memory by eating his favorite meal, cream steak. <laughs> Tomorrow's the day. You know, I owe a debt of gratitude to Grandpa Timberman. He taught me everything I know about safe woodworking. And his untimely fall into the wood chipper a little while back kind of shook us up. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> you know, the Timbermans love to eat. And instead of all that rude reaching and grabbing we had last year, I thought it'd be real nice if I surprised them by making a nice, lovely, lazy Susan for the center of the dining room table. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is give this lovely lady some curves, fashion this fine country missus into a circle. And before I do that, very important, I'm going to put on my safety gloves. Now, these gloves here are lined with a space-age type steel that'll resist even the strongest of titanium blades. These suckers will take anything. Which is very important because we're going to be working with our jigsaw today. Here we go. All right. Well, look at what we went and did there, huh? That's all right. Drag it up there a minute. You know what? I just realized something. These are my gardening gloves. 100% cotton. They're real nice, too. I there we are. These are them titanium gloves I was telling you about. You took it. Ain't no way. All right, now, the next thing you're going to want to do is dress up your lazy Susan with some decorative wood pegs. And how we're going to do that is we're going to take our steel mallet in one hand, and in the other hand, we're going to. All right, looks like I'm going to have to get a little bit creative here. Look, here we go. Let's, uh, there we go. This is, this is, this is, this is. All right. You take, your, take your wood peg, place it where you'd like it, and take a look here. Look at that. I've got my steel line glove on like I was telling you about. This is very important. Cause, yes, this is my steel line glove. Right. Just take this baby, place it where you like it, and just give it a little gentle tap, tap. Tap, tap it in. Tap, tap. You know, you know what? This bugger's gonna need a little bit more encouragement, so let's... Oh, now, look what I did. I went in my hand instead of hitting the wood pack, but look at that. See that glove? What did I tell you? See, look at that. Look at that glove. See, there's no damage to that glove. That's like the day I bought that thing. Look at that, see? Look, let me show you. Damn. Oh, boy. Well, that could have been a very serious accident, but as you can see, my thumb and forefinger are still fine. <laughs> Out for the glove. Look, I'm a lobster. <laughs> Let's get a commercial. Hi, I'm Paul Timberman of Paul Timberman's Workshop. If you're like me, you like turning your TV set on and off with your remote control without ever having to leave the comfort of your favorite chair. Well, now, thanks to Tuco, you can use that same technology to turn your power tools on and off. Just watch. Just look at that cut. I couldn't have done it any better myself. And how do you know it's a genuine tool co remote? Just listen for the click. That click tells you that. Hey, we're trying to shoot a commercial here. He's using them noisy tools. Remember, with tool co, all your troubles are behind you. All right, now, to secure our finished Lazy Susan to the tabletop, we're actually going to have to bolt it right through the table, which means we're going to drill another hole right through the center here. Now, normally I'd measure it, but I've done this so many times, I'm just going to eyeball it. Let's get our trusty drill. Let's hold it down. Give us a hole. There we go. Yeah, any second now, you're going to see that drill bit pop up through the table like a prairie dog getting close to Paul Timberman is brought to you by Skyser Permanente. Skyser Permanente, because accidents happen.